Welcome to our course doing math in Python and in this lesson we're going to find the variance and standard deviation and that we will be learning how to calculate variance and standard deviation using Python. So before anything else, we first have to review the mathematical notation of both variance and standard deviation. So we have here the formula for calculating a variance. So in this case, the S squared here represents the sample variance or just the variance itself. And what we do here is that we get the difference between the element in the data and the mean of the data, and then we square that. And for each difference, we get the sum total of the squared difference, and then we divide that by n minus 1. So n here is actually the total population, and then um, we deduct 1 from it because we are just talking here of a sample. But then, of course, when it is not a sample, when we're talking about the whole data, then we just make this one a big letter, n. So there is no more minus 1. So how do we get now the standard deviation? So standard deviation is just actually the square root of the sample variance or of the variance only. So that's it. Just how easy it is to understand the mathematical computation of both a variance and standard deviation. Again, just to remember that standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So how do we do that in Python? So here we actually have some definition of different functions. Here, first and foremost, we define calculate mean, and then um, we get the sum of all the numbers or all of the points in our data. And then we get the length of our data set, and then we get the mean, and then we ask it to return the mean. The first thing to do after we get all of these very important elements in the formula, we now get the difference from the mean as what we have already explained in this part of our formula. So how do we do that? It's very simple. We define a function, find difference, and then of course the numbers, which is actually the whole data set. And then we calculate the mean, and then we make a list here, which is referred to by the word diff. And then we append the num here, which is the difference between the mean and each number in our data set. And then we return the difference. And we already have this one. The next part that we're going to have is we can now calculate the variance. So how we do that? Of course, we again have the diff here. As you could see, this is the fine difference. So we just call this one here because we already have defined in this part of our program. And then the numbers as our parameter. And then we have our square diff here, which is a list. And in our list, we append the square difference. Of course, I believe you already uh, understand what this one is. And then we have this one to find the variance. So some squared diff, which is equal to the sum of the squared diff or the squared difference, this one, right? And then what we do is that we calculate the variance because we have already have the calculations of the element in our formula. And then what we do here is that we return the variance at any way. So the variance here is equal to some square diff and then the length of our data set. So let's have these numbers so that we would be able to have a better practice. So income, which is the name of our data set, and we have these different incomes. And then we calculate the variance just by calling the function calculate the variance and then of course our parameter is our number here right and then we print both the variance and the standard deviation so again here 0 0.5 it means the square root of our variance so let's execute this one now we have this one the variance of the list of numbers is 758 
0.19 and so on and so forth. And our standard deviation is this one, right? So let's have this one executed again. So there is a better space between is and 27, right? Then right now this one is better. So why do we have to study variance and standard deviation? It's very simple. By studying standard deviation and of course variance, we would be able to understand the spread of our data. And the use of standard deviation would be able to help us how vary or how varied a certain number is from the mean. And in anomaly detection and fraud, standard deviation would give us the proper know-how or technique on how to identify whether a certain item, a certain list in our data shows a suspicious behavior. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.